Hi everybody, I figured after being absent for so long I owed you a second video for the day, and here it is. This video in particular is going to be going over a few of the books that I've selected from my Celtic library. Uh, I decided to choose a few of the more lively ones, uh, the ones that hold your interest that aren't so dry. Uh, definitely historic books, uh, books on uh, the mythology of the Celtic people are great, and they're a good starting point. Although not everybody is going to be able to wade through all the information, and honestly, even for me, they can get a little dry at times. So I choose to switch it up from time to time with books that I find a little bit more interesting, but yet are still historic in nature. And to start this off is the first book, which is called Talking About the Elephant. This book in particular isn't specific to the Celtic Reconstructionist path, but the book is about cultural appropriation. And for those who aren't familiar with the term, pretty much it deals with someone lifting an aspect of one spirituality or culture and placing it into another framework. So if someone was a practicing Celtic Reconstructionist and was dealing with chakras, well, we all know that chakras aren't particular or specific to the Celtic path. In fact, they're not present in it at all. One would end up assuming that, okay, these, again, aren't part of the Celtic path. But someone who lifts it from the Hindu path and puts it into a framework of the Celtic would be practicing cultural appropriation. Um, in any case, that book is excellent if you don't have an idea of the, the magnitude of cultural appropriation as it is manifest within the neo-pagan community but it is a definite good read. And what it basically is, is a collection of essays. And like I said, they're not specific to the Celtic path in particular, but kind of neo-paganism as a whole, and kind of shows the, the dangers of cultural appropriation, as well as gives some even possibilities of why someone could or might want to practice cultural appropriation. Uh, it, it looks at both aspects of things, which I felt was a very balanced view. The second book is called A Path to Celtic Ritual, The Apple Branch. This is a marvelous book. I'm not going to say that it's 100% accurate, um, I think that it would be false to say that any book is going to be 100% accurate, even by the best of archaeologists or those who are most familiar with Celtic beliefs and practices. No one's going to have it down 100%. This book in particular ends up talking about different mythology, uh, different groups of Celtic people, um, the different practices, um, rituals that one can can do on the CR path, but it is absolutely marvelous, and it emphasizes one actually learning a Gaelic language, because it helps give you a different understanding of what these, what our ancestors or what the Celtic people were all about. So, I highly recommend it. Next book is called A Circle of Stones. Journeys and Meditations for Modern Celts. It's written by Erin Rowan Laurie. And for those of you who aren't familiar with her, she is from the Pacific Northwest. And she is a, a high-ranking member, or long-standing member, I should say, of the Celtic Reconstructionist community. Um... I haven't read this book until probably about four months ago, but it is an excellent read. It has plenty of meditations that obviously have a historic slant to them, or a historic basis to them, I should say, and as well as just general information for those who are getting started or trying to practice the CR path. 
definitely worth getting. Um, for now, those are the three books that I'm going to discuss in further videos down the line. I'll end up adding additional uh, books that I've read and recommend specifically those dealing with different, uh, different books on mythology and interpretations, of course, and probably different history books. Like I said, I highly recommend Barry Cunliffe. He is excellent, but there's a few others that I'd recommend as well. But this video is getting close to six minutes now, so I better wrap it up. Again, if any of you have any ideas for further videos or different, uh, different things you want to see out of this channel, let me know, uh, write me, message me, and I will certainly do my best to uh, try to get videos out in a timely manner. I uh, look forward to hearing from you and have a good day.